morning everyone welcome back to another vlog i'm currently really cold um i'm on laurel canyon driving to pilates it is 6 38 a.m today i have class then tonight we have our like christmas party thing i need to go get it's an ugly christmas sweater theme and i need to go get a sweater i really i like cannot go home between because i live so far away and so it just like doesn't make sense so i'm gone like all day anyways i'm just in my lulu sports bra my aritzia buffer i'm gonna set you guys down right here i have morgan's suitcase in the back because she let us borrow it okay so i was listening to okay sis with sivan he's a blogger i don't know what just got on my lens but i'm heading out every time i start to vlog here oh wait i need to wear this i don't know what i'm doing okay bye Good morning guys, that class was really hard. I'm wearing this white t-shirt that I just got. It's like a Hanes by Carla t-shirt and it's not gonna be warm enough to wear my puffer today in LA, but I might just do it. Anyways, I'm getting ready. I wanted to show you guys the new mascara combo that I'm loving. So lately I've been putting on roller lash, just like a light coat, followed by my Dry Bar and Cosmetics um, mascara. And honestly, I feel like when I, oh, this is literally the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> Definitely got it under here too, great. I'm gonna use my Kapari little, oh, nope. Oh my gosh, no. This is not, oh, found it, thank God. Oh, okay, great. I never apply things like that. Oh my gosh, it's actually great. So this is the Kapari Lip Glossy. I got this when I was in Texas shopping at North Park Mall and I really really liked it. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have this facial mist. This will be great later today. Um okay this probably needs to go on quick. This is the um lash blowout. Um it's the collab with um a cosmetics and dry bar and at first I was like this is not my favorite mascara ever but I actually really like them layered together. Oh this got all over my eyelid. You know this is not oh my god this is not my morning. Oh I forgot to put my cloud paint on Okay, so I'm about to head off to Morgan's to drop off this suitcase and then hopefully I'll have time to get some breakfast before class. Um, and we'll see. Finals are over. I'm done with class for sure. And that's really incredible. Honestly, I probably should have worn something on my face today. Um, I didn't want to get fully ready because we have like a party tonight. So I don't want to do my makeup twice. You know what I'm saying? You know, slash I also really don't do makeup for class. So, so I'm gonna finish listening to the OK Sis podcast. Also, guys, they went to Tom's one hour photo lab and got these photos done. Comment down below, maybe I'll go back in January and get some photos done with like Taylor or something. The house or the photo that's framed in my house of me and my roommate Bailey um, is from there. But I love that they have their podcast art. Like I should have freaking thought of that, but it's literally the best thing ever. It's so great. All right, so I'm gonna head to Morgan's really quick. On my way to class, she lives pretty close. And then I'm out. All right, just parked. Um, I'm almost done with this podcast. It's been great. I have class in like 10 minutes and I have to walk over. Here we are. All right, guys, so surprise, surprise. We're back at Century City Mall. It's just- Hi making her parents because we're at Citrus City. Catering to my Angelinos. Catering to our Angelinos. So we are going to Old Navy to look for ugly Christmas sweaters. Oh, the setting is right. We have to go to a ugly Christmas sweater party tonight. <laughs> it's really kind of like, when you only have one to go to that year, it kind of like sucks, you know? You know what so we should have done? Them. We should have gotten just regular sweaters and put pictures of each other's faces on it. Oh yeah, that would be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done that. And then we're gonna get some lunch. <laughs> Um, but yeah, or like maybe H&M has some, I don't know. I just want like the cheapest one possible. Yeah. And yeah. These were in the H&M window when I was saying the children's ones. Maybe that's why I thought it was Old Navy. Okay, so yes. now we're going to H&M. There is nothing at Old Navy, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe I just saw sweaters and I just assumed because they're next door. I don't know. I haven't been to Old Navy in like a long time. Here we are, guys. H&M. We have, uh, yeah, no time. No. Hi. All right, guys, so ignore our drama <laughs> for today. We just ended up like ordering some sweaters on Prime now, 
H&M, like they're all like tight fitted and like they're already ugly, so you just don't want. Like we wanted like an oversized vibe. Like they didn't see our vision. <laughs> they weren't is, here for us. They weren't here for us. So it's fine. So anyways, we're gonna go get food in the food court. Where do you want to go? Um, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. We were walking by Bloomingdale's. It was me and Quentin. That's where we were last week. And I was like, oh, I was just in there. And all you see, uh, <laughs> all you see is David Yearman. So he was just like, wow, I wonder where you were there. And I was like, and you're like, so, not bad. No, now he like definitely knows. So that's embarrassing. Anyways, um, also like I had him try it on in Dallas though. So like I'm pretty sure he knew anyways, you know what I mean? Anyways, 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 anyways. How many times can I say that? Where do you want to go? The falafel place? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, there we go. Okay guys, ooh, here we are. Back at the food court. I'm gonna try my Vibes Strawberry Lavender. This was $8 and I didn't realize, I would not have bought this, but I realized that like after, because my meal here is so cheap, that I just didn't, it was like a normal price. Um, so, better be good. That's the best flavor that I have. Oh, it actually is really good. Oh. I approve. That's the only thing I want in life. Jess, I will try to get John Mayer on my podcast, but like I just don't think it's gonna happen. Hi everyone, just wanted to reach out. Sorry, why is this coming on the lens again? Still not good. Just wanted to reach out because my number one goal of 2020, one of my big goals of 2020 is to get JoJo on my podcast. So if anyone has a connect, slash knows anyone on her team, slash knows her, like personally, thank you. She just looked at me as I'm filming this. Want me to grab it? Uh, uh, thank you. I was gonna do it, but I appreciate you. Mexican bowl? Yeah, it's really good. Um, please guys, hook a girl up. I need JoJo to come on the podcast. Please. Not JoJo Siwa, to be clear. Like, too little, too late JoJo. You'd be surprised who gets that mixed up. People think you're talking about food? Yeah. And so I actually don't know the last clip that I vlogged, but I was at the mall. Then I went back to class. I had like an hour and a half. My last track of the school year. Oh my gosh, if you guys, I like really need to get gas really, really bad. This is really, really not good. But I'm so close to the mall, so I'm just not gonna do it right now. But I'm meeting Quentin. Um, anyways, I finished class a little bit earlier than I thought I would. And he was actually in this area, so he's just meeting me at the mall because I'm doing an Instagram deal with Nordstrom actually, which is so cool because like actually, like, okay, funny story where Quincy and I vlogged like last weekend at Nordstrom in that like gift department thing that's literally what I'm doing the deal with and that's just so funny because like I was literally just there but I'm doing a deal with them so I need to go take some photos get some gifts and whatever but guys so um they're giving me obviously like credit for gifts to buy for the deal and they have Quentin's all-time favorite cologne, the Tom Ford Vanilla Tobacco. It smells so freaking good. Um, there, and it's like one of the things that I could pick out. So I am gonna be getting that for him. He has no idea. I already got like all of his Christmas gifts and stuff, and this is like, like, oh my gosh, it's not like cheap cologne by any means. It just smells so amazing. Actually, if I, it's my number one gift idea for guys, I actually think cologne's a really good gift idea. Pretty much anything. I like. My dad, everyone always asks for cologne because that's actually what they want. But anyways, it's a really good gift idea. So the Tom Ford Vanilla Tobacco. I don't think anyone in the world dislikes it. It's so, it smells so good. So we're on our way. He has no idea that he's, oh, I think I'm going a little bit. No, I'm going right. Um, he has no idea that he's getting it. I told him that I might have another surprise for him this week. Um, he's been really reaping some benefits as of lately. <laughs> but I'm just going to, I I mean like obviously he deserves something because he does a lot for me so we're heading to the mall right now and it's gonna be so fun and i'm so excited because he's gonna be so happy literally he's gonna be so happy so i'm so excited but um yeah today was really great in class it's one of my last days um so it was really cool tomorrow's actually my last day tonight we have the christmas party and yeah all right guys, so we're in Nordstrom doing my Nordstrom content. Quentin found out about his surprise, I told him. Unbelievable. Very exciting. Best girlfriend on the planet. I already told them before you. Okay, so can you hold this for a second? I need to make sure that this is the white one. Oh wait, I'm getting a sleep mask. I'm being so extra. All of our flights from now on, I have a really great sleep mask. Okay, and so air skincare. Actually, Maybe they don't have it, my color. The slip pillowcase, I will be getting another slip pillowcase. I needed another one. 
let's see what else. Actually, I don't know if Dry Bar is actually even a part of this, but... Okay, so we got the stuff. Very exciting. I got some slip actually. But for myself, we're gonna go look at luggage because I think that's what I want for Christmas and my mom keeps hounding me. So I have to figure that out today. All right guys, now we're really leaving. I didn't find any luggage, but I'll keep you posted. That's cool. I like this look up here. It's very open. So we have, I honestly wasn't planning on staying over in Century City all day, but like there's really it's almost four there's no point we have a party at seven so we're gonna go see a movie yeah what Super movie are we pumped. seeing again it's called knives out daniel craig's in it it's like a mystery murder mystery this is so cool look there's you would do like i know you would do really well in like movie reviews you know oh uh, it's kind of his vibe be a food vlogger and a movie vlogger yeah things that no but Just yeah kidding. but i'm see? still having I still haven't posted the recipe for the garlic bread. This, this just needs to be, it's dead. It's gonna have it's Christmas. Dead. It's coming, you guys. It's your, Christmas, it's your Christmas present. Okay, so, yeah, we're walking to AMC right now. Comment down below your favorite movie theater. Quentin is diehard AMC. They fit the movie pass, $21.99. You know what, I, I uh, If I get a deal, I would love a deal with movie pass. Movie pass, seriously, my boyfriend's obsessed with you. Very organic. It's the best thing Something ever. we use. 12 movies a month? Come on. There Three you movies go. a week? What? Okay, well, there we go. Okay, update. We saw, what was it, Knives Out? Knives Out. It was really good. Big fan of that movie. Lots of twists and turns. Um, so, this way. anyways, we have the parties in like 20 minutes, so it was kind of perfect timing. I'm gonna um, throw love my. Love holiday parties. Love holiday parties. It's an ugly sweater themed. Um, Q's not in my program, he was just invited, but anyway, so Jess is bringing it because we ordered it earlier. Oh yeah, you guys already know this, I forgot, I was literally here earlier, but look how cute and pretty. This anthropology up here is my favorite anthropology ever. If you go to the second floor and then all the way up, they have this one area that's like the best lighting ever and it's so beautiful. Just amazing. Do you have something to say? I feel like you're like about to chime in. No, I just saw somebody I knew. Yeah, you would not even you just didn't say anything? No, yeah, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. He's with the girl, so I didn't know if it was like his first Oh, uh, yeah, but, maybe not now. I mean, if oh, wait. you're watching this, hey, shout wait. out to Rob. Rob Hurt, you're the man. We love you so much. Back from the party. Um, This is my ugly Christmas letter. We primed out it like an hour before the party. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to today's vlog. I got, I normally wake up at six and then I'm out the door at like 6.25, but for some reason I was like out the door at 6.10 and I'm already at Pilates and it doesn't start until seven. But today is my last day of class, which I'm so happy about. I just, oh my gosh. One, that just means that I go to New York this weekend and then it's winter break. And two, that means that I stopped making, that I stopped spending like, half my day in my car and I can't really vlog and whatever these vlogs are all about to be so much better so um yeah last night the Christmas party was really fun and then I got home I watched like a movie and I went to bed and now we are here um I have my Celsius as always guys I'm so sorry that a lot of these are so similar I just like I don't do crazy different things every single day, so I'm just like kind of vlogging my life and showing you guys, but tonight, actually, I am going to be packing for New York because um, I'm pretty busy the next two days and then I leave Sunday, so like tonight's my only time to do it. I'm not the person that packs in advance ever, um, but I need to like plan outfits and stuff, and Keaton legitimately has a Google Doc with her outfits, like our itinerary, along with her outfits for each thing, so it's really put a little bit of pressure on me and I feel like I really have to like you know try my best but I I feel like I'm just gonna wear all black and coats the whole time because I'll be freezing so that is it um I'm really excited for today I think I might actually just like import some footage from a vlog while I'm in my car I might as well at this point and then go into Pilates oh my gosh this is my second to last Pilates class of the entire year because I can't go tomorrow sadly expected from a Best Buy video and then I'm gone basically and the one day after this that I'm back I need to book it actually the 19th today's the 12th yeah basically I can only take two more of the year 
which is absolutely heartbreaking to me but i did find out that core power yoga is in dallas they have a bit like not a billion they have a few locations so i'm gonna try that it's just hot yoga um i know that my teacher so that I would like it. So I'm like, all right, let's see. Got a Pilates shower, got ready. I'm on my way to class. I have to take a call in the office at some point. Wait a second. How am I just not realizing there's a night market in West Hollywood? Is that the same one in Silver Lake? If any of you guys are watching, please let me know, but it looks very similar. Also, I like scabbed my face under here and it's really bothering me. And I really don't need this to be on my face for New York. Um, cause we're gonna be taking a lot of photos. And I just remember when Keaton, I don't even remember what she did, but I'm really talking about Keaton a lot in this vlog, but she like scabbed her face somehow. So I just texted her how she fixed it. So anyways, I'm on my way to class. Um, I'm really upset because I was gonna wear sweats today and they told us that we need to like not wear sweats essentially because they're filming something so That sucks, you know um, Anyways on my way. I'm listening. Well one I have a new podcast episode out with Roman and Erica my favorite couple Erica's been on the podcast before Honestly the best guests like they were just the best and the episode's so good. So definitely go listen and then um, I'm right now listening to TK's Juicy Pod with OK Sis, which is fun. So, love that. Um, yeah, I'm on my way to class. I'm really hungry. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get food. So, great. Made it to Starbucks. I'm so freaking hungry. I just, I I'm making time, you know? <laughs> got some breakfast, really. I got some breakfast, which I really hate when I do this in Starbucks. I just... I'm in such a rush because I literally just worked out and this is like, you know, not healthy, but whatever. Yeah. Showed my entire close friend story, guys. Okay, uploading Vlogmas at class, but I uploaded a new gift guide. How cute. Uploaded. I don't know if that's the term for Instagram. It's on my highlights, so go check it out. All my gift guides, guys. Good afternoon, guys. Um... I'm home, as you guys can see. It's currently, I think, 3.45. I am officially done with class for the semester. I'm seriously so freaking happy and excited. Like, not because I, like, don't want to be at school or anything. I actually, like, love my program. And, like, I actually don't mind school. I kind of like the routine of it and stuff. More so just because I'm really excited to go to New York. And I have... A lot to get done before then so it's more so just to like be able to get stuff done and also the vlogs are gonna be so much better now because I'm not in class like tomorrow I'm going horseback riding um, which is very exciting so and hang out with Dom I think so anyways today um, I am just going to be prepping for New York I need to plan out some stuff I've actually been home for a few hours I had to um, send over some like creative briefs some brands that I'm filming videos with I need to edit yesterday's vlog pack, pick out some outfits, prep for that, which is a whole ordeal now, apparently. And yeah, I'm really tired, so I got home, I showered, I did a bunch of stuff, I took a 30 minute nap. I'm not a napper, I literally never nap. Comment down below if you guys regularly nap and how long you nap for. This might sound so dumb, but every single time I nap, I wake up more tired, so am I like doing it wrong? Like what time, how long do you guys nap, you know what I mean? I didn't even really sleep, I really just laid down and rested my eyes. Remember when everyone's parents would say that, because they would, no, anyways, so I'm gonna drink some coffee. I'm gonna plan some outfits. I will take you guys with me I don't really know how to film a style with me video, but I guess we'll figure it out, you know oh, Wow, okay That's what we're gonna do. All right guys I've absolutely trashed my backpack because I unpacked my gym bag and just things that I have in everyday bags that I don't need anymore And then I just have some outfits out um, I'm like trying outfits on which I never ever do, but I just want to be very prepared So I'm just trying on things to see what I like what I don't like and Yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. So at first I was just trying to be organized and it kind of plan on my outfits with what we're doing But honestly it just like wasn't really working for me because I always switch things up So then I was like I need four casual outfits and four nicer outfits because we have like a nicer thing pretty much every day and a more casual thing and then I just realized that basically what I'm gonna do is just wear black pants sneakers or boots and like a black hoodie black jacket pretty much for every single thing I need like turtlenecks and stuff like that I have ideas and outlines and then I need to do like one nicer outfit 
and then yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I can't really pack until Saturday I'm gonna kind of pack up a few things but yeah that's kind of my plan for now hopefully this works out I have so much stuff look at how crazy this looks my dresser is still broken I have all the stuff over there kind of packed up um obviously I can't really pack all the way until Saturday all right guys so i'm now i haven't worn a denim jacket in forever i feel very weird i also don't have hoops on so i feel even weirder um i'm about to go pick up some um produce at trader joe's just for juice in the morning i'm really trying to stay very healthy this holiday season i feel like i always like just get off track and stop working out and whatnot but I'm honestly terrified of coming back to my workouts and I'm getting a personal trainer in January. So I'm so terrified of coming back and dying. So I'm just making sure I'm staying healthy. So I'm gonna go pick up some fruit and vegetables and stuff. And then after that, we're going to a Tex-Mex barbecue place, which is not healthy, but whatever, balance, you know, um, with some friends. So that'll be fun. And yeah, I'll take you guys with it. Hey guys, so I'm home now. We went to this place in the valley called AJ's Tex-Mex Barbecue. Weird spin if you guys are actually from Texas, but they have like brisket and breakfast tacos and queso, things that are like really big in Texas. And we went with my friend Amanda, who's also from Texas. So it was really fun. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is the end of my repetitive vlogs and we are going into fun holiday vlogs and here we go, Coco. But I love you guys so much, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have not already, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys soon.